Hi everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 15. In today's video, I have a little mini declutter. So I was looking at some of my products the other day. Well, actually the last time I did a shop my stash, I noticed I had a foundation that was looking really nasty and I've come across a couple other products since then that just need to be thrown out. I will probably in the new year do a big declutter, go through my whole collection and everything, but I probably have a half dozen, maybe a little bit more products here that are yucky. <laughs> so they just need to go. So before we get into the products that I'm getting rid of, let's do our e.l.f. advent oh, day number 15. What do you think it is? It looks like, what do we have? We have a putty blush. I don't think we've got the bronzer yet though, but that does look like what that container could be. Oh, it's the brow lift. I do already own this product, so I might see if anybody I know wants one of these. It looks empty. It looks like there's nothing in there. This is a fantastic product and I really, really like it. It's it whole it does like that whole soap brow thing so well. So it's a great product, but I'm I'm almost positive I have a pretty much full one of these. So I will double check but probably pass this on. Okay, let's get into the products that I am decluttering. So I think it was in my October shop my stash I had this Touch and Soul Primer, and this is the Pretty Filter Icy Sherbert Primer, and it's this beautiful, I don't even know how to describe the texture of this. It's kind of this whipped gel. Let me see if I can show you. Yeah, it's this funny texture. It's quite nice. It definitely feels cooling when it goes on, and it feels nice when it goes on. The issue with this Smells nice too. I, I'm probably gonna see maybe if my mom or somebody wants that. I'll try to pass that on because I have had it a little bit, but I don't think it's bad. It seems perfectly fine. And I think there are people that would like this primer. What happens for me is because I do like a multi-step morning skincare where I do like three or four serums, and then I go in with the Australian Gold Botanical 50 Tinted Sunscreen. It doesn't matter how long I wait before I go in with this primer, it moves around my sunscreen where I can see the lines of tint. Like it really disrupts it. It almost makes it look like the sunscreen has pilled and I have to really, really work to blend the tinted sunscreen back in so you can't see all the little weird spots where it's kind of collected. So I did try it for, you know, I probably tried it a handful of times and I couldn't get it to work for me. So again, I don't think this is a bad product. I just think it doesn't play nice with my sunscreen and my sunscreen is more important to me than this. So I'm gonna pass that on. And then that same month, I had this foundation in there. This is from L'Oreal, it's the Age Perfect 4-in-1 Tinted Balm. You can see it looks like I've used hardly any of it and I really, I haven't. There's nothing wrong with the shade of this. But when something is described as a bomb, to me, that makes it seem like it's gonna be hydrating. And this just makes my skin look dry. It just doesn't sit nice on my skin. Maybe if you had oily skin, this would be better, or even normal to oily, but I have super, super dry, mature skin. And so I have lines, I have wrinkles, I have texture. And this just sits and collects in all of that and doesn't look nice. It just doesn't look nice. It doesn't soak into my skin and and look like skin it looks like i'm wearing makeup so i don't know if i'll be able to pass this on i don't know if you know that's hard to pass on a foundation you know they have to have you know a skin type where this would work and this shade would have to work so but we'll see we'll see if i'm able to pass that on okay and then a foundation that i'm actually just gonna throw away I don't know, you're probably not gonna be able to see in there, but this, this is from CoverGirl. It's the Clean Fresh Skin Milk. I love this foundation. Now, I had two of these because I had bought one. I think I've actually even gone through a whole tube of this. I really like this foundation. It's beautiful. It sits nice on my skin. It melts into my skin. All of the things I like in a foundation, I like about this. The problem was I just didn't get to this and it went bad and it's, completely separated in here. I probably could give it a good shake. And I think I have tried that actually. When I give it a good shake, it does kind of mix back in, but then if it sits for a day, it completely separates again. So, I, and I have had this a long time. I had a couple of these because 
a girlfriend bought one and she didn't like it. And so she gave me hers, but I already had one. And actually at this point, I think now, I think that other one had gone bad and I had decluttered it. And now this one has gone bad too. So, I mean, I don't know if there's a date on it anywhere, but have had this, you know, well, well over a couple of years, I would say even. So, you know, I just didn't get to it. I have too many foundations. I didn't get to it, it went bad. So I'm gonna throw that one out. Okay, I think, oh, you know what? The rest of these are lip products, but before I get into the lip products, cause I have one, two, three, I have five lip products that need to go. I pulled this out last night to declutter it. Now, if you've watched some of my other declutters, you may have seen this product. It's from Cover Effects and it's the glitter drop. So I pulled this out last night cause I thought that thing is old. Like four or five years old maybe even. And so I pulled it out cause I'm like, okay, it's time. Like it's, you know, it smells fine actually. It doesn't smell like it's bad. Well, <laughs> I don't want to say it smells fine, <laughs> but anyways, so I was, I had it sitting out for this video. I'm going to, I'm going to show you guys this product. <laughs> okay. well, <laughs> Maybe it does need to go. I, to be honest, I was going to keep this. I was going to keep it. Oh, it doesn't, the dropper doesn't work anymore because I think the product is so weird inside. But so anyways, it was sitting on my desktop so I could do this video today. I was going to get rid of it. And then I just put a little on the back of my hand like this because I wanted to see, right? It's so pretty. Let me show you this. It's so pretty. It's so sparkly. And as I spread this out on my hand, I just was so in love with it. And then I thought, I put a little bit more there so we can really get a good look. And then I thought, I wonder if I just like took a little bit and I just tapped. And this is what I did last night. And then I totally fell in love with this product again. And so now I'm keeping it. Look at that. How pretty is that? Okay, let's do this do this other eye. So now I can't get rid of it, you guys. Am I going to do this ever? I don't know, maybe. But it's so pretty. That's over top of the Charlotte Tilbury Oyster Pearl. I can't, you guys, I can't get rid of it. And I've had it a lifetime. But so that was going to be de decluttered. But I think I'm going to keep it. It's hard to get rid of the glittery stuff, isn't it? Look at even when I go to wipe that off. Look how it's just, oh my God, it's so pretty. Okay, so everything else are lip products. And so when I was looking at everything, this caught my eye and it's from Bite. And now, of course, Bite is no more. And I don't know if you can see, but it's full. So there's like a clear liquid there and then the other stuff is down here. Now I will say this, I bought this, like it's completely separated and just looks so weird. And it doesn't mix back. Like it stays kind of weird. And even when this was new to me, I feel like it was old. You know, I bought it on sale on Sephora and I never really enjoyed it. It smells, it doesn't smell good. It doesn't smell good. It had this weird, I want to say like grapefruit taste to it. It was supposed to be like a pre-makeup conditioning treatment, but yeah, I bought it. <laughs> I bought it on sale. I think pre-bite announcing they were going out of business actually, but I'm just going to get rid of that. That one's kind of nasty. And then, so I, I looked, I ended up looking at all my lip products because they sit right there on my desktop, right? And I was looking at this Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. It's just a mini. And it, again, it's going to be hard for you to see, but it's changed and it's pretty weird looking in the bottom. Like it's almost like it has settled in the bottom and it smells, it smells not great. So I'm going to get rid of that one. And then I pretty recently bought this one from Honest, like I want to say maybe a month ago. I don't know what this is called, but it's in sheer petal. It smells fine. I'm going to try to pass this on to somebody because I think I've maybe, maybe my mom or somebody, I think I've worn it once and I just, it's the shade for me. I don't like that shade at all. It shows up very orange on my lips. 
So again, I, I picked it up at the dollar store because I was excited to see something from Honest there. But I'm going to try to pass it on because I just, I don't enjoy that shade. And then I have this product. This is from Lana Lips. And it's the Lemonade Lip Treatment. And I really enjoyed this. It smells delicious like lemonade. But you can see I've, I've almost used it up. But now what's happened is it's... It feels very grainy inside. It's not the smooth balm that it once was. So it feels weird on my lips. Like I can feel like, it's almost like it's crystallized or something. Yeah, it smells nice and it was really nice, but I, I have had this a few years for sure. And I did get lots of good use out of it, but just time for it to go. Okay, and then the last product that I'm going to get rid of is this one from Cab, Cab Beauty, Cab Cosmetics. I never know what this is. It's a lip oil, and I got this in a boxy charm like a long time ago. At first I thought, oh, it's fine. It keeps surviving declutters, and you can see I've used a considerable amount of it. But then recently, like maybe maybe a few months ago, I got another one in a boxy charm, and these were sitting side by side. <laughs> now this one used to look like this one. But look at it now, it's all cloudy and weird in there and the cap is a completely different color and it doesn't, it used to smell like rum punch. Oh, and now it, it smells, it smells funny. So I'm gonna get rid of that one as well. So there we go, just a quick little mini declutter. Just some things that when I quickly looked through, I, I could see that they had, they'd either gone bad or just products that I, I know maybe I could pass on next time I see some family or something, right? Products that just didn't work for me. So quick video today. I hope you're enjoying Vlogmas. If you are, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, if you would subscribe, that would be amazing. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye everyone.